Hi folks, today I'm going to talk about restitution. And restitution is, is part of a criminal matter. Let's assume that you're charged with a, a DUI, but you happen to hit somebody and you cause damage to their vehicle. And it takes, and it, they end up spending $20 out of their own pocket to repair that damage. You then, as the defendant in the criminal matter, may be ordered to pay restitution. The limit or the cap on that is $10,000. Now that doesn't mean to say that your insurance won't pay it. And, the, and they will if you have automobile liability insurance pursuant to Arizona law, which you have to have. But restitution is, is limited to out-of-pocket expenses, not pain and suffering to that other person or anything like that or consequential damages. It's out-of-pocket only. So if, if you end up getting charged with a crime and you do cause damages and that person incurs expenses that's not covered or even is, in co is covered by insurance, but they still have to come out of pocket, let's say co-pays, or deductibles and things like that with their health insurance, you are responsible for them. On the other hand, if you're the victim, you're entitled to restitution, you're out of pocket expenses because of what somebody did, if it's a criminal matter, not just blown through a red light or a stop sign or speeding, but I'm talking about a criminal matter like reckless driving, exhibition of speed, DUI, um, accident with serious physical injuries or death, which seems to be quite common now, especially in the motorcycle area. Um, and that's a class two misdemeanor, by the way, that person may be having to pay you your out-of-pocket expenses over and above whatever their insurance company has paid you. So even if you sell it up with their insurance company and receive money for your pain and suffering, you're still going to have out-of-pocket expenses. Nobody is ever totally compensated. And then that person will end up paying you pursuant to a court order, probably 20 bucks a month till it's paid off or for three years of probation and then it will be reduced to a civil judgment, but that's really the way restitution works. Very seldom do you see a defendant walk into a courtroom and cut a check for $10,000 to the victim of his crime. It happens, but it happens very seldom. Anyhow, I hope you understand that, that restitution is just for out-of-pocket expenses of the victim. Also, the prosecutor that's trying to get you the restitution is not your lawyer. It's the state's lawyer. So they really can't do for you what your own attorney would do relative to the restitution. They're, they're sort of going to bad for you. You're going to help facilitate the issue of restitution, but they are not your attorney. So don't treat them as your lawyer and don't think that they are your attorney because they're not. They're still the attorney for the state prosecuting the bad guy. Hope that explains it to you. Thank you. This posted video is in no way specific legal advice on any subject. It is intended to provide general information for the public. If you need specific legal advice, call Chuck at 480-545-0700.